Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the leak code question insertion sort list. Alright, so as the question says, we just we're going to be given a linked list and we just sort it using the insertion sort algorithm. Alright, so this over here is a pretty famous algorithm and uh, if you don't know how it works, I'll show you and run through how it works. So let's first see how insertion sort works and then we'll see how we can apply that to a linked list. Alright, so over here we're going to be starting off with this unsorted array uh, of 6, 5, 3, 1, 8, 7, 2, 4. So pretty obviously it's not sorted and our goal over here is to sort it. So this is how an insertion sort works. So what you do is we're going to go over to the first element. So in this case that's going to be 6. And in this case uh, you could do insertion sort in place or we could use up extra memory in order to do so. So I'll just show the second option since I think that's easier to visualize. So over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be iterating through each of our numbers over here. And as we're iterating through our numbers, we're going to have another linked list. So let's just create that. So in the very beginning, we're going to have a linked list, which is going to contain the number, the first value over here. So in this case, this linked list is going to have the number six. So let's just write the number six over here. All right, so this over here is going to represent our sorted linked list. So everything inside of this list over here is going to be sorted. So in the beginning, we're just going to add that number, which is six. And currently as it is, there's just num one number. So we're going to consider it to be sorted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the next number, which is five. So now we have five and our goal is to add it inside of our sorted list. But now the question is, where do we add it? So like I said earlier, everything inside of the sorted list is going to be in the sorted order. So kind of following that rule, five is going to be placed before six because well, five is smaller than six. So five is going to be pointing to six. Okay, so now we go to three and three is the smallest of uh, smaller than five and six. So three is going to be pointing to five, pointing to six. Then we have one. So I'll just go through this a little bit faster. Then we're gonna have eight. Eight is the biggest among all of these. So it's gonna go over here. So basically, in pretty simple words, we're going to each element and we're going to put them where they actually fit inside of our sorted linked list over here. So now over here, we have the number seven. So seven lies in between six and eight. So in that case, we're going to put that exactly over there. So six is going to point to seven and seven is going to now point to eight. So similarly, over here, we have the number two and two falls in between one and three. Okay, so let's just do that. So we're going to have one pointing to two pointing to three. And finally, we have the number four. So let me just And finally, we have the number four. And well, four is going to be in between of three and five. So I'll just kind of squeeze that in there. So three points to four points to five. All right, so that's kind of how insertion sort works. Hopefully you understand. And now let's see how we can actually apply that to a linked list. So the idea is still going to be the same and this over here. So one thing that we kind of need to look for or kind of understand is when we're adding the number from the unsorted list to our sorted list, how do we place it in the correct position? So, so far, uh, let's just assume that I just did 6531872 and I did not do four yet. So currently I need to place the number four. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. So what's gonna happen is in the very beginning, I didn't represent it or show it, but we're always going to have this. We're gonna have a dummy head. I'll just label it capital D. And that is going to be pointed to the number one in this case, okay? Uh, what are the first values in simple words? Now, why do we have a dummy head over here? So the purpose of this dummy head is when we're iterating through the sorted linked list, we will have a pointer for the previous pointer and the current pointer. So what I mean by that is in the very beginning, this is how we're going to start. So we're going to have a pointer which starts off at the dummy uh, variable or dummy head node, right? So that's the very beginning. And we're going to have one more pointer which starts off at the next value. So in this case, that's going to be one. So this over here are going. The, uh, so this over here is going to be our two pointers. So we currently have one at D, and we currently have one at one. So now our goal is where do we exactly uh, place the number four? So each iteration, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving both of these pointers. So now we're going to move it by one. So now one pointer is going to be here, and one pointer is going to be here. Both of them move over by one. So now we're gonna check if four fits over here. Well, it doesn't. So now we're gonna move it again. So two and three, four does not fit over here as well. And then we're gonna move it up again. So now we have one at three and five. And this is exactly where four is going to fit. So now what's going to happen is uh, this pointer over here, the one at three 
is now going to point to the number 4. And now 4, so instead of pointing to 5, it points to 4. And this 4 over here is now going to point back to whatever this pointer is, which in simple words is just going to be 5. So now we placed 4 in the right position. And now that element is in the correct space of where it's supposed to be. All right, so this algorithm over here uh, takes has a time complexity of big O of n squared. And let's see how we can do that in code real quickly. All right, so we're going to start off by defining a few variables. So the first variable we're going to define is going to be our dummy head. And this dummy head over here is going to be referring to our sorted linked list. So we need to make this an object of the list node class, which is already defined for us over here. And to do that, we can just do list node, and then we can just initialize it. All right, there we go. And now one more thing that we want to initialize is we're going to be iterating over each of our values inside of the linked list which we're given in the beginning. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to have a pointer which starts off at the head node. So we'll call this pointer current, and it's going to refer to the current node that we're on. And it's going to start off at the head node, which we're given right over here as one of the arguments. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to be going through each of our values inside of that uh, list, inside of the linked list. So to do that, we're going to do while current. And what that means is we're going to keep going inside of this loop until we reach the very ending. Okay, perfect. So now over here, we need to define the two variables. And the two variables that I'm talking about over here are going to be referring to the two pointers which I was talking of. So one pointer over here, like I said, is going to start off at the dummy node, and the next pointer is going to be whatever is to the next of the dummy node. All right, so let's just do that real quickly. So in the beginning, uh, let's just call this previous pointer. So previous pointer, and this over here is going to start off at the dummy head, okay? So dummy head, and now we're gonna have our next pointer. And whatever value is going to be there, whatever uh, we're going to be adding to the linked list is going to be in between these two pointers, okay? So the next pointer over here is going to be the dummy head, but whatever is the next node to it. So dummy head dot next. All right, so that's all we need to do. And now we're going to find out what the current uh, correct position is for whatever current node we are on. So over here, we're going to keep iterating through it until uh, we have while the next pointer exists, right? So until the next pointer is not none. All right, so each time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving each of the pointers by one. All right, so our previous pointer over here is now going to move by one, and so is our next pointer. So let's just do that real quickly. The previous pointer is going to be equal to previous pointer dot next. We move it over by one, and same for the next pointer over here. Okay, so now that we moved both of them by one, uh, this is going to keep going. So there has to be some sort of stopping point, right? We need to know when we actually reach the right spot. And the re and the place that we're going to stop doing this is going to be whenever the value of our current pointer. So if current dot val is going to be less than our next pointer's value, right? So let's just go through what that actually means. And at that point, we're actually going to end up breaking out of this, okay? So real quickly, what does this mean? So uh, let's just go over here as a quick example, back to four, and four over here has a value of four, and this has a value of five. So when we reached, when our next pointer had a value of five, that, that was the point where the next pointer was greater than whatever our current pointer was. And in that case, we know that we've reached some sort of correct answer. And the reason we know that is because everything in the sorted list is already sorted beforehand, except for the new element that we're inserting currently. All right, so knowing that, we can kind of use that. And the second this happens, we're going to break out of our while loop. All right, so uh, now we've found out the current pos uh, correct positions for the previous pointer and our next pointer. Now, all we need to do is we need to point this to 4. So uh, the previous pointer points to the current pointer and the current th uh, value points to the next pointer. Okay, so let's just do that real quickly. So in this case, what's going to happen is the uh, current pointer. So current dot next is now going to be equal to whatever the next pointer is. Okay, so let's just have that current pointer equals to the next pointer. Current dot next equals to the next pointer. And simultaneously, our previous pointer is now going to be pointing to our uh, current pointer. So previous pointer dot next is going to be equal to whatever our current pointer is. All right, so now that we have both of this, uh, we need to do one last step. And the step that we need to do over here is we need to move our current pointer by one. 
So to do that, uh, what you could do is you would do current equals to current dot next. But there's a small problem with doing that. So uh, the reason this is a problem is because we change the current dot next value over here. So in order to kind of have the previous or the original current dot next value, let's just store that inside of a temporary variable. So temp is going to be equal to current dot next. So we're just storing that current node inside of a temporary variable. And the reason for that is because now we can assign that variable to the new current value. And really all we're doing is we're just moving the current in the unsorted linked list by one spot. So current is now going to be equal to temp. And that is going to be it for our solution. So at the very ending, what are we going to end up returning? So we're going to be end, uh, returning our dummy head over here. But uh, the first value inside of our dummy head is just a blank node, right? And the reason we even had that is so we could uh, have a previous pointer. It was just there, like the name suggests, it was a dummy head. So the actual linked list is going to start off from the next value. So dummy head dot next. And that should be it. So let's submit our solution. And as you can see, our submission was accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.